guys, so I'm Claudia Saavedra and if you're new to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified every week when I post new videos. I post two videos a week and so make sure you hit that button down below. So this week we're going to be talking about intuition, okay? And intuition is something that gets talked about a lot, right? And the reason why I create these videos is because I want to make everything practical and easy for you. Because if you're anything like me, okay, once you sort of like identify a subject that you like, yeah, you sort of like you end up, I've said this in previous videos, you end up with like 20 different tabs open and you end up with all that. There are so many theories, there are so many different teachers, but this goes for like every subject in the world. There's so many different theories, so many different teachers, so many different everything. And then it's like, everyone's like, sign up with me. I know best, do this thing, do this thing, do this thing. And then what ends up happening for people like us, okay? Normally like creative people are quite like this, you know, our brains, our thoughts, everything is scattered and we don't know which way to turn anymore. And then we are left feeling overwhelmed okay and intuition is actually very 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 simple it's very simple to tap into it and so in this week's video that is what I'm going to be talking about I'm going to tell you just give you one simple exercise to just begin tapping into your intuition and as with everything all of the time we start slow and then we build it up because that's the other thing that people tend to do is like whenever they want to, you know, try a different thing, they kind of go, I'll just, it's like manifesting. I'll just, I want 10,000 pounds, you know? And it's like, they haven't even manifested one pound. So again, this is about doing it step by step, bit by bit, because again, we live in a very head centered, mind centered world. And so tapping in, into our intuition is something that we're going to have to develop and train. I'm trying to do these videos like in order, like <laughs> to help you along like your spiritual awakening journey, but obviously like it's not linear as I've said before in any way, intuition is something that's going to help you and benefit you along the way. Because if you're trying to navigate the spiritual journey from up here, like you're just going to just be banging your head against the wall like time and time again. And so it's really good for us from the very beginning to tap into our intuition and to see the aligned action that we need to take in order to achieve, you know, the path that we want to go on, you know, in order to connect with our higher selves. So this channel is all about simplicity and practicality because that's who I am as a person. And whenever, again, I'm interested in something, I don't need the fluff all around it. I need the answer, yes or no. Uh, you know, are we doing this? Are we not doing this? And so I think, again, with some videos, with some teachers, there's just too much. And then I've made like 20 different notes. And then I'm like, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what to do first. Right. So again, as I said, I'm going to give you one very simple tip. So first of all, let's just quickly talk a little bit about intuition. Like what is intuition? Right. Um, the, the best part about all of these things and all of these videos that I make is that like, we all know what the thing is. We have all a hundred percent, like we have all experienced intuition at one point or another, whether we were connected you know, or not. So it's just, if, if you're just watching this video and you're like, I don't think I've ever experienced intuition, okay, then really, again, meditate, tap in and just be like, when was one time? It, it doesn't have, again, it doesn't have to be like anything massive. It's not like this ma massive like life decision that you made, but like there will be one time in your life where you felt like you, you, you wanted or you needed to do something and you just went with it and it was the right decision. You know, it can be like going down a certain road, buying a certain thing at the shop, whatever it is, like clicking on a certain link, you know, just, just intuition is that thing that you do. And then, and then when you're in the situation, you're like, I don't even know why I did this, how I ended up here. And, okay. And this is, this, this was something really good for me to sort of like connect with because I lived uh, for, for like a really long time um you know up here and everything had to be like rationalized okay because the brain loves to rationalize you know it's, it's, it's what it's there for and it is helpful and beneficial in some circumstances but you know a lot of the times it also isn't you know it's it's too much it's thinking too much and it's like okay let's just you know it'd be really good if we could just take our brain take our brains out and just put them on the side for a bit uh but we can't do that unfortunately and why, that's why we do these exercises but so yes, for me personally, there have definitely been times where, you know, I've sort of been led to things and I've done the things and then I've been like, oh, I don't, I don't even mean to do this, you know? Um, that's the best thing about it, actually. Whenever I've done some of like my greatest creative projects, they were never planned, you know? And the other, like, so for example, I'll have like a long list. Like I said, I have a creative brain. I want to do everything at once. So I've got 10 million projects that I want to do. Um, but so, for example, I'll have a list of like 10 different things that I really want to do. And, you know, they'll just be on my list 
for the next 10 years. But then there are things that I just do, right? And that's your intuition. That's the universe working together. That's all the cosmic energies. That's everything working together, okay? So you're not thinking about it. It's just you're just doing it because it just feels right and you're in the momentum and you're in the flow and you're just doing it, yeah? Because you're not forcing anything. It's just, it's happening because it's meant to happen because you're on the right path. So let's get right into it, okay? Because I'm, I'm sure, or maybe you haven't heard actually, but if you, you might have heard this before, which is, um, like I was actually reading about this yesterday. And again, this doesn't work for everybody. So it's like, it's like when you, when you need to make a decision and you're supposed to completely detach yourself from it and you're supposed to just be like, does your body feel constricted? Or does your body, you know, feel like a big full body? Yes. And it's like, it's really difficult to do that. Like I said, when the mind is attached. So we need to start doing exercises to connect with our higher self, to connect to our intuition, to connect with our heart. And so what do we do in these situations? Because it's difficult for, to detach from situations. It's like when money's involved, when the stakes are really high, it's difficult to detach, right? I'll give you an example of what I did and what I started doing, which worked really well for me um, because there wasn't too many things. It was only things that I, I could personally, you know, control um, and, you know, my, it's control, you know, uh, but I'm going to explain this in a minute. But so it's a when first of all, again, as with everything, you, you need to decide to, you know, you need to, 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 to tell the universe, to tell your intuition, to tell your higher self that you want to connect with it and that you're open to connecting with it and that you're open to receiving these messages and, and that you're open to be led by your intuition. Um, so, again, you can do mantra work, whatever it is. It's, it's all the same. Like, really, it's like you, 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 you kind of tell the universe, you write things down, you just speak to it as if it was like a person, your intuition, your soul, whoever it is, the universe. So anyway, that's not what that's not what the tip is. The tip for me what I personally did was once I decided to do this because this is something that might happen is that a lot of things will start happening right that so for I'll give you an example so the way that I started doing this was I would kind of I would leave the house this happened to me I, I left the house actually and I'm I, I'm never someone who's kind of like oh did I lock the door did I did I leave the stove on did I turn the washing machine off I'm not I'm not that person like once I leave the house I've left the house and I've left the house I mean obviously it'll happen like sporadically but once I've left the house I've left the house um, and then as soon as I kind of like started doing this, this started happening to me that I would leave the house and one time I was like, did I lock the door? The other time was like, did I turn the heater off? Um, the other like time was like, did I, did I close my door? Like all of these things that you know you did because you do these automatically because that's the other thing. It's like, you know that you've done these things because you're on autopilot most of the time when you're at home, when you're leaving the house. It's like, I get up, I do this thing. So you do do the things and you know that you've done the things. And so for, and so what you have to do when you have these thoughts is you have to trust okay it's the same thing about surrendering to the universe is that you have to now trust yourself yeah you have to trust that you did the thing that you're now thinking that you didn't do because that's all coming from here that's all coming from the logical mind which is like did you do this thing it's like fear and logic up here and it's like did you do this thing yeah I, I didn't think you did this thing and so you have to trust and so there was one time where I thought I left yeah like this I've got like this clothes rack which it has heat it's like cold, cold in air buddy and I thought I left it on and I always switch all the plugs off I always do all this and I was going away like for the night and I thought I had left it on and like it took everything in my body to not go back and check it right but I had to trust that I had done the right thing I had to trust myself I was like you always do this and so just trust okay just trust that you've done it and just trust that you've done it and it's the same with like when you I don't know just just with anything so just start with like small things okay when you're like did I do this thing did I do this thing um just trust that you have because because that's just fear talking, yeah? Your intuition, right? When there's something wrong, your intuition will tell you. Not fear. And I had this thing recently that was like intuition with whispers and um, fear or anxiety screams. It's all kind of the same thing, you know? Um, everything comes from a place of fear. You know, all these bad emotions come from a place of fear. Um, and not understanding um what our emotions and how we feel and not being able to deal with them but so what i'm saying to you is it's like when there's something r actually wrong like fundamentally wrong like and, and i don't know if you might have heard this i've heard this before when people feel that you know somebody close to them has died and they kind of go mm, something's wrong right because they know like i had a friend who knew she was pregnant this also happens i've heard this quite a few times actually when people know that they're pregnant okay that's your intuition 
okay? If there was seriously something wrong, you get that feeling that you're like, oh, you know, there's something wrong here. I need to do something. I need to act, yeah? And so if you leave the house and you're like, oh, I, I have this feeling that something's wrong, then something is wrong. But if it's just your brain going, did you do this? And this is the other thing you've got to realize when, when it's fear that's talking and anxiety and things, it'll be so many different thoughts. It'll just be like, blah, this and this and this and this. The intuition will be pretty clear. It'll just be like, this is the thing, right? But your brain will just be like, your fear, whatever it is, it's like, what about this? 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 It's like, it'll give you all the possible worst outcomes. Intuition's pretty clear. It's like, it's like when you feel like you need to do something and you do it. Like I said, instead of going left, you feel like you need to go right. If, if, if it was fear, it'll go, if you go right, then there's, you know, there's a crocodile at the end of the road. If you go left, then there's two crocodiles at the end of the road. So can you fight one crocodile? Can you fight two crocodiles? Intuition will just go, go in the middle lane. Yeah, I won't tell you why or anything. I'll just be like, go in the middle lane. So to summarize, uh, what you need to do is listen to that first thought that you have before the brain sets in. Yeah, with anything. So when some and like try it again with such simple things. When someone says to you, do you want ice cream? Yeah, instantly, I promise you, instantly your body will go yes or no instantly so be on the lookout for that listen to that yeah and then your mind will start doing like oh do i like ice cream maybe i should get orange maybe i, should get, oh, I shouldn't really have ice cream because it's got so much sugar in blah 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 the story continues and then and then before you know it the ice cream fan's gone so listen to that feeling when someone asks you the next time someone asks you to do anything to go anywhere whatever it is or or when you ask yourself like, do I want to go for a walk? Do I want to go for a swim? Do I want to have cake for breakfast? Listen to that very first thing. It's like half a second. So you've really got to be attuned to it. But it always happens. Yeah? Because your body always knows. Your soul always knows. And this is the other thing. Like, it's the answer is always within you. When Do you know the thing that I do, like, now? And I realise this. When I want to do something, I just do it. When I don't want to do something... My brain will do that thing, but it'll just go on and on and on and on and on and on. So now, whenever I'm like, it's basically, whenever I'm indecisive about something, I'm like, I'm not going to do this. Because whenever I've actually wanted to do something, I haven't thought about anything else. You know, I haven't thought how I'm going to get there, how I'm going to have money. And, you know, like big things, like big decisions in my life. I've always been like, I'm every time I move somewhere, I'm like, I'm moving. Yeah, I don't think about anything else, but everything works itself out. When I'm thinking too much about something... It means I don't want to do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't think about it because it's just yes or no. You want to do something or you don't want to do something. Like when you meet a person and your intuition goes, no, no, stay away. And you go, I'm just going to ignore that, you know, because they seem nice. My brain, you know, if I look at all the things, it's like, hmm, th this person does this and this and this and this. OK, thank you, brain. But your, so your intuition, your body's kind of like, no, no, no. And this is how animals work. You know, they don't go into dangerous areas. You know, they're cautious because... They, their, their, their brains aren't as developed as ours, you know, so they only have intuition, they only have instinct, okay, and so, as I always say, spend some time around animals, spend some time in nature, spend some time around children, okay, intuition is the first thing that your body will say, it's the thing that makes no logical sense, but that you know, keyword no, is the right thing to do, is the right way to go, so, as with everything, this is not something that we get taught in school. This is not something that, you know, our parents aren't like, oh, let's just go to intuition developing class this week. This is not something that happens. So, like, with everything, it's something that we have to practice, yeah? So, that's why I said start small. The next time someone says, you want an ice cream? Do you want a drink? Do you want to buy these curtains? You know, does your body say yes or no, yeah? And, like, you wouldn't go to the Olympics without training, would you? So, it's the same thing. Yeah, so you've got to train. And so that's why I always say I always say the same thing so you don't get overwhelmed. You start with small things, literally teeny tiny small things. It's the same with manifesting. Don't try to manifest ten thousand pounds. Try to manifest once. One. <laughs> because so it's the same thing. So thank you so much for watching this week's video and I'll see you in the next one.